anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a pipe bomb. too much for me to know this pipe mic that I ain't doing great. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. In anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a pipe bomb. I represent the pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. I'm fucking tired. I did two seals at the midnight release. And then went out Saturday night, man. So. It's been a hard weekend. I must say, though, the Dark Ascension, fun set. Um, lots of interesting cards. Graph Digger's Cage is not only as good as I had thought, but actually better than I had thought. Uh, it's main deck. Yeah. In limited. It's main deck. That's just how damn good it is. Also, getting removal doesn't hurt. That's the only reason why I did poorly. But, um, it was the first time I had played paper in God knows how long. And, um, what do you think I open up first pack? Liliana. But it screwed me up because my black was pretty bad and I wanted the player, so I played black white. Had an okay deck. But, uh, wow! Surprise, surprise. Well, now I know why this person is playing black. He should have made me sacrifice a creature instead of uh, discarding a card. But I'm going to discard the Victim of Night because I watched this guy's replay and he's playing. Like 99% zombies and like 1% other. I didn't see the little though. So. Uh, I gotta pull out, a, I gotta pull out something. Because this is making me uncomfortable. Um, if a cup is on today. I mean, very good match. Who's playing today? Oh yeah, it's Arsenal versus Aston Villa. Well, he's in a hard spot. His deck revolves a lot around Liliana, so if he doesn't get it, he's pretty screwed. Uh, he took all the zombies, though. Yeah, so I'm going to sack off my Rakish Air. Although, in theory, I don't have to, but... Oh, wait, no, we just he made us discard? That wasn't very smart of him. Discarding actually helps my deck. Gets creatures in the graveyard, makes Kessig Cage Breakers that much more insane. And now I don't even need a forest to play it. Now I could play it even next turn if I wanted to. But I'd rather just like get out a creature or something of that effect. Eh, whatever. I'll just play it now. Ooh, no, he's not very happy. You know, Liliana almost won me uh, my first match of playing paper in almost 11 years, I think it's been, since I played paper. By the way, the game has changed a lot. There was actually a female playing. Um, Lil was, was beast mode. I had my opponent discarding his entire deck until... He got out a really lucky makeshift mauler and then top decked a Griptide for the win. Wow, okay. You want to make my Kessig Cage Breakers more powerful. That's good. I have no problems with that. Skeletal Grimace. Oh yeah, I wanted to remember that he's main decking Skeletal Grimace and it won him his last match. But it ain't going to win him much this game. Ooh. Interesting. What do I do now? I know exactly what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rate Liliana. Although I must say, in unlike in online, in in paper, was, you know, having your Liliana die just feels that much worse. And yeah, I probably should have had one of those wolf tokens going at him. Because Liliana would have died regardless of what I did. Hey, Shaky. Shaky is sleeping on the couch in my room. There are too many couches in this house. 
By the way, I suggest that you do not go to a midnight pre-release. Unless you open up a sword, which I did in a second seal. Sword's pretty cool. And then I sold them for 60 bucks. Which paid for both seals. So I ended up with Liliana, Griff Digger's Cage, and a promo. Oh, by the way, don't don't look down on the promo card. It's pretty beast mode. I will admit that. So not only am I getting an endless supply of creatures, I'm getting once I into the maw of hell. Any yeah, I won the game. Was there really any chance of me not winning the game? I mean, I'm just that damn good. Um, do I need to change anything? Yeah, I need to get rid of that victim of night, which is really depressing to say. Um, yeah, Curse of Oblivion works in this deck, against this deck, because he's running a lot of ghoul raisers. He's got, like, three ghoul raisers and, like, eight other zombies. I swear, if he had, if he would, if this was Dark Ascension, he had the zombie captain or the blue dude that makes two two tokens. Damn. Oh, by the way, removal apparently does not exist anymore in Magic: The Gathering. Uh, like removal is such a premium that the best removal card maybe in. Dark Ascension is the two mana deal three damage target attacking or blocking creature with flashback. I'm not even joking you. That's one of the best cards. It's one of the best removal cards in the entire set. It's one of the only ones. That black five mana deal damage blah bitty blah bitty. It's not that good, to be honest. Now, why didn't I play the uh, 2 1 red dude? There's two reasons behind that. One, the interloper is better for racing purposes. Two, he has ghoul razors. So if I would have just blocked with the card, he'll just bring the, that zombie right back. While I can keep that alive using the geist flame because the damage goes through earlier. Oh, and... When you're playing Magic at 6 a.m. and you have about 40 milligrams of Adderall in your system, you tend to be the oh, uh, okay, that works. Too. You tend to be the only person in the room that's actually focusing on the game. We forgot that Hamware Watch keep attacks every turn. Uh, I kept milling my opponent, trying to mill him out while he had a Splinter Fright on the board, and neither of us knew how big it was. All right, so he's got a 5-1 to deal with my 5-5. Five five. Interesting. Well, yeah, I'll play my Patricia Markov. I'll attack for two. God, playing online is so much easier. You have no idea. That's uh, a hair dryer, by the way. And no, it's not me using it. If it was, then, uh, you know, I'd be a lot more attractive than I already am. And if that was true, then. God save us all. Dun, 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 dun. You know, if he doesn't play anything, he can kind of just kill off my watch keep next turn, but it's not his style. Now, I could have double Geist Flame the... Oh, that works. You want to see how to win a game really quickly? I'll show you. Step one. Play that. Blah, 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 he does things, things occur, things are happening. Now, step two, flip your Hamware watch keep into a card that I'm not quite sure what it actually is called now. I know double-sided cards are very difficult to play with uh, in paper. It's confusing as fuck. I mean, sometimes you forget to flip. Okay. Now here's step three, play a rolling tembor, clearing the board entirely. Hey, Scarlet, why'd you switch sides? Step two, deal seven points of damage. 
Step three, play another creature. Why? I don't know. Felt like it. Hmm, it's interesting seeing Scarlet from the other person's perspective. Oh yeah, wait, playing that other creature kind of screwed up my whole... See, I told you he had a whole bunch of cool razors. He has four of them, I think, when I was watching the replay or something like that. And he tapped an extra mana. It's good. It's good stuff. I don't know if there's anything in this set that's one mana black unless it's bump in the night. Oh, wow. Okay. So everything that I just killed, he just brought back. And he used up two spells at once, which is kind of stupid on his part. Okay, so it's actually a four-step program. Step four, attack f with both creatures. Oh, I could have attacked with both if I wanted. I chose not to. Religious decision. Step five, flip said hand where watch key. And I don't care whether or not he's mana screwed, because he really only needs four mana to play everything in his deck. Uh, if he plays the Rotting Fence Snake, I could just Geist Flame it. Yeah, so he has to play the Abattoir Ghoul. He is aware, though, that I have a... That he's down to five, and I have a... Um, two damage to all creatures without flying card in my graveyard. Three, four, five, six. Oh, Falcon Wrath Noble would be sweet. Okay, and I just attack. Do I want to go for overkill, or just, you know... Okay. And he's dead on the greatest, yay, huzzah, good stuff coming up, yay.